Uh, we chose basement finishing. You know, we like to do it. We thought we could do really cool projects. Um, and when we started, it was all about the fact that I could do all the work myself. So I could design it and I could physically build the basement from start to finish. Uh, some of the new trends are, uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of open spaces, but we're also um, building some hidden rooms. So it might be a hidden bookcase door that goes into a poker room or cigar room. Um, you know, we get to do some really cool projects that uh, you know, it could be, you know, we're seeing some play spaces underneath the stairs that turn into like dollhouses. Um. Welcome back, this is Hired Done. My name's Adam Helfman. Shout out to Barry Bean, my new buddy. This is exciting. It's a good segment right here, my friends. Get your pen and paper ready because you're going to take notes. You're going to learn. This is like Hired Done University. We have the, uh, the professors in, uh, in studio with me right now. Ryan Alexander from Shelby Mechanical. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, my friend? Good. I love I'll, that shirt. Thank you. Run DMC, right? It's yeah, tricky. yeah. I'm like the old school guy, you know, hip hop. We are old. Did you know that I, uh, I was a rapper when I was a teenager? No way. Hundred <laughs> percent. I can see that. No, you got any videos? No, but I have a couple songs. Okay. I didn't have videos back then. I was in 1984 oh. <laughs> when I discovered Run DMC. Really? I was called the Vanilla Fella. Vanilla. Fe no. Way, way before Vanilla Ice. No way. You know, my, That's fir fantastic. my first album was called The Great White Hope. The Great White Hope. Legitimately. Yeah. Oh, no, I was good. No kidding. Yeah, but I... What happened? Well, I became a builder. <laughs> Contractor. <laughs> you, had to make, you had to make some money, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. My dad's like, dude, you, 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 you want to live it? What are you going on? Get out of here, you know. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And we have uh, Steve Iverson from Finish Basins Plus. Good morning, Steve. How are you, Adam? Awesome. Thanks for coming to the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. And Amy Iverson in the back corner. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, pull up a chair, Amy. Go to Facebook Live if you want to check it out. We got cameras everywhere. You'll be able to, well, Roberto, zoom in on her eventually. So, um, thanks for coming in, guys. Yep. So, people might be thinking, why do we have a plumber and a basement guy? Well, let's talk about that for a second. First, Steve, let me ask you um, you've been finishing bases now forever, it seems like. Yeah, we've, uh, I started as a licensed builder in 94 finishing basements and decks and that kind of stuff. And um, in 2003, we started a company called Finish Basements Plus that all we do is focus on basement finishing. And let me say that that's a great idea to be the expert in just that. And you guys do a great job. I mean, I think it's confidently I can say Finish Basements Plus is probably the benchmark basement renovation company in the area. Like everyone else compares themselves to you. And you're not like this with ply by night. You guys do it right. It's like building a house. Like you do it all legit. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to break all that down in a second. And Ron, mm -hmm. you're like the professor of all plumbers. <laughs> professor Plumber. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're the one who teaches everyone else. <laughs> we try. I think so. <laughs> uh, earlier in the show, I was talking about tankless water heaters. Mm -hmm. And just I want to get your quick thought on that. Are you, are you a fan? Not a fan? In, in all applications or not really? I'm a fan. I think they're, I, I mean, if you have a use for it, because it is expensive. If you're just doing it to save money on your monthly bill, I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, okay. But if, you, if you're having an issue with running out of hot water, they're fantastic. They're, uh, or you need the space. Or you need the space, which we have that issue. We've had some space, saver. space savers for when finishing a basement. They're so uh, a wall, uh, a take this water here is wall mounted. Yes, wall mounted, maybe three foot by four foot or so, hangs so, on yeah. the wall. It's not like more than 12, 13, 14 Correct. feet. Correct, yeah. So there's yeah. the spacing. It's smart, yeah. 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 But it doesn't use a lot less energy? Yeah, it does use a lot less energy. It's it's The the downside is it takes a little while for the hot water to get to the point of use, but the good the upside is once it gets there, it's there forever. I mean, okay. you can shower till you're, for a year if you want to. So I get in my shower, I turn the hot water on. I hit my uh, Apple Watch, mm -hmm. and I'm wait looking at the stopwatch, and I'm like, <laughs> like how long does it take? Well, it depends. We could on the distance it has to travel. We can put a research system in too, so it'll get there a lot quicker. Okay. So well, there's some know, there's some things you have to do you when you put what, it in. You know what makes it ruins it? Google. Why? Because everything comes instantly in Google. So oh everyone yeah, lost, yeah. Everyone wants everything now. Right. Right. I want my basement now. Yes. <laughs> gotta, we have to tr we have to preach patience with homeowners. That's the key. So, how popular is basement re renovations right now, 
Steve? Uh, extremely popular. We have uh, a lot of people calling a little bit too late, but a lot of people calling wanting uh, projects finished for the holidays. Um, the reality is that planning should have started a few months ago. Um, so let's let's get that out to the homeowners right now. If you're thinking of remodeling your basement and your thoughts come to your head right now because you're hearing the show, is it still makes sense to call you to get the ball rolling? But don't expect a finished basement by Thanksgiving. No, absolutely not. Not by a reputable contractor. Not you know if somebody Some says if oh, somebody yeah, says they can get you in by Thanksgiving, <laughs> you should run. Okay, be careful. Then. Yeah. Okay, so that's a, that's an important thing. But let's use today's date as in. We're in the beginning of August. I'm thinking about remodeling my basement, and I want to do it properly. I want to listen to the way Adam and his team does it. So, where are we talking? A winter job? Is it a winter project? Yeah, it's uh, you know, from the first appointment uh, to the time you sign a contract is usually six to eight weeks. Um, and then from that point, we usually have a backlog of eight to 12 weeks. So, so yeah. you know, you could be five months, six months from the time that you say, let's go to the time, you know, it's finished. Okay. And wrapped so up. if I have my basement remodeling project uh, slated for next year, I should still call you now. Yes. Get it, get the ball rolling. Absolutely. That's the best part. Yeah. And here's the best part about uh, Finish Basement Plus for everyone listening. They basically educate you on every part of a basement. So you understand what you're doing what the process is. They have books that you guys have written and brochures that are just amazing, like the how-to guide. Yeah, Basement Finishing 101. Right, and it's good. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I peruse it. I actually use it for as part of my content. So, if you know, it's a good stuff. So you work with Ron Alexander. Yeah, Ron's uh, one of our partners and uh, awesome partner. Does a great job for us. Rock star, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's yeah, all I we deal agree. with. I'm, I'm happy. I, I, you know, I actually met him through you. Yeah, absolutely. How about them apples? Yeah, it's a while right. ago. Well, it's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> time flies on all of us, right? Yeah, yeah, we're getting old fast. So, 96 percent of all contractors fail in the first five years. Did you know that? I've heard that. Yeah. And you've been in business 94. Yeah. How about you, Ron? You've been plumber for 30 years. Yeah, right? uh, somewhere around 02, I think we actually went. State went full time, full time. I was always right. doing it. Yeah, of on course. the side, but the best. Yeah, good for you. It's, it's okay. So homeowner knows I got, I bought this house in the neighborhood and I got pre plumbed for the bathroom and shower ahead of time. It's almost like the biggest fraud in building. Mm. Yeah. What are your opinion on that, Steve? Well, yeah. I mean. Uh, it's funny because when we go into somebody's basement, they want to tell us exactly what the layout is and what it should be. And primarily the thinking is evolved around the fact that they've got these PVC pipes sticking up through their floor for the last 15 years. And so that's their whole design is evolved around that. And when we get in there, and Ron would attest to this, probably 90% of the basements that we finish, we're breaking up the concrete and moving the PVC pipes so that they make sense with the design. So that's not a deal breaker. No, absolutely not. Okay, so for everyone out there thinking, oh, your whole design, just like Steve said, your whole design revolves around the pipes coming out of the ground that you said when you bought your house 15 years ago. The, the, the drain's over here, the shower's over there, and the mm -hmm. vanity's going here. Ron, how bad is it when you have to move like something six feet, three feet, four feet? It's We do it every day. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, when, he, when we first met and got started, um uh, some of the jobs they were they would always design for the people how they wanted but we were breaking all the way across the basement yeah lots of concrete and, and then their sales people were getting you know we would meet with them because he has the contractors come in we have meetings once a year sometimes more and and we just talked about you know stacks and try to stay close to this and this and try yeah. to make it easier and, and less expensive so it, it we can do anything it's not that big of a deal to break and move pipes yeah. okay and that's important and so proper planning is part of the key to success for a project, for a contractor, for a homeowner's mm -hmm. project. Makes sense to me. Yes. So, you know, homeowners don't know under the concrete slab in a basement where the plumbing goes. Can you give a, 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 a quick 101 of bleeders and drains and all that underneath? Well, yeah, yeah, quickly you have two systems. You have a sanitary system and a storm system. The storm system brings the water from outside of your house under through the footing under the slab to your sump pump and then puts it pumps, pumps it, away. it away to the city system sanitary 
runs underneath, runs right to the city sewer. That's Basically, what the you have to, yeah, that's the, that's the, I, we always end up there, but yeah. <laughs> I said, I tell them outside before we come in, we'll end up on a toilet by the, before the show's over. <laughs> well, hold on a second. Justin Moss from yeah. Advanced Plumbing's on the line. He's been, he's been uh, he wanted to say hi. He says Naritz has a 25 year warranty on the uh, tank list. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk toilets in a minute because you just brought it up. Yeah, I know. I know. Say hi to those guys, Advanced. They're great, man. Right? Yeah. So all that, so you have w- water and then you have the sewage. Correct. Okay. And so you know where all that is, even though you don't have x-ray vision. You just know there, where it's all laid out. Well, if we have to locate, we just put a camera down there with a locator. We can find out where it goes. Okay, perfect. The sanitary, the storm is easy. Forget it. We all right, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk to Ron Alexander and Steve Iverson from Finnish Basements Plus. I want to ask you what the best toilet is. <laughs> and what if the toilet's below the sewer? you got to pump it out, right? Yeah. Oh, I love this conversation. We're going to take a quick break. Keep it locked in there, folks. We'll be right back. I'm Adam Helfman. You're listening to the Higher Done Radio Network. Welcome back. This is Higher Done. We're talking everything basement. we got Steve Iverson, Finnish Basements Plus in studio. Welcome back, Steve. Thanks for having me. Ron Alexander, Shelby Mechanical, Master Plumber. Welcome back. All around good guy. Yeah, yeah, I can agree with that one, too, <laughs> for sure. So, uh, Steve, right now, basement remodeling's on fire. People want to finish their basement. There's many reasons why. Can we give a few to the listeners? Why would someone want to finish their basement? Yeah, you know, we're seeing a couple of concepts. Uh, one, you know, I think people, families want their families to stay home and their friends to come over and have fun in their basement, and that way they can keep an eye on the kids, Uh whether they're young kids or teenagers, probably especially teenagers, they want to keep an eye right. on them. I'd rather have my kid at home in the basement playing Fortnite yeah. with his friends yeah. than out running around somewhere, clubbing it somewhere. <laughs> right, right, yeah. You know, even though I track him on his phone, you know, his car, I've got all the things, but he, know, he knows how to turn the location yeah. services off, so I'd rather have him downstairs. <laughs> but I've heard some stories like these kids, yeah, okay, we'll go downstairs, Mom. And they get away with some crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. heard stories. The other thing we see is kind of an in-law suite situation where, um, you know, the parents might be moving in with the kids uh, for whatever reason. So, Well, that's a huge thing. You know, yeah. aging in place, bringing the parents back home. I don't <clears> want to <throat> stick my parents in a home, maybe. Right. But <laughs> put them in the basement or put the kids down there, you know. But you can do a whole in-law suite where you can do a smaller kitchen, small kitchen, a bathroom, a whole a whole suite. Yeah, absolutely. And they can have their own separation. Right. That's cool. How many basements do you finish that have actual walkouts, or is it just happens because of location? I am maybe twenty twenty five percent of them. Okay. Yeah. So when people are 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 renovating a basement or fixing it up or, or converting it to a living space. What are the top three, four, five items that you're always seeing? I mean, we used to see home theaters, but that's going away, right? Yeah, we, you know, 10 years ago, it was a designated room just for a home theater, and that whole concept has kind of gone to the wayside. We still do a handful of them, but more and more, we're, we're just doing an open concept with a bar, a Multi-use bathroom, space. a living room, maybe an exercise room. Yeah, well, that's important. So um, the big, big, you know, sectional couch, big screen TV on the wall with the video yeah. games hooked up. Uh when you do a kitchen, do you have big full kitchens, or are we doing like a kitchen slash bar with like a maybe a small? Uh, they're they're mostly bar oriented, okay. you know, for entertainment sake. Now, how how much entertainment when you do the entertainment stuff? How much like surround sound and things like that do you do? Uh, most of our customers are adding surround sound and maybe even multiple TVs. Could Stereo. have one in the bar area, the exercise room, and in the living room. How about card rooms like gambling? You we do, do some of that, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know these old ladies are playing. smoking rooms. Have you heard of Canasta? Yeah. Yeah, the game. Card yeah, game. Yeah. yeah. These old ladies in the West Bloomfield, Bloomfield Hills community, <laughs> <laughs> they play Canasta. Right, yeah. I don't even know what that is. I don't either. I've never played it, but I've, I've you used to call it Maj. It. We played Maj. Maj. Yes. Now it's Canasta. Yes. Whatever. I guess it's an old person. Pinochle. Game. Remember that? that yeah, too. I do, yeah. So... The whole plan. And then what about, like, the furnace and all that just for storage? You guys can help design that as well. Yeah, for sure. There's a certain percentage that we encourage our customers to leave as an unfinished storage area, Um, usually 30 to 40 percent, depending on the size and scope of of the basement. Um, 
you know, and in a lot of cases, Ron's getting involved and, in, you know, moving water heaters. And so we kind of clean up the existing space. Uh, Make it more efficient. Yeah. That's smart. That's yeah. actually smart. So, Ron, real quick. Mm -hmm. So when plumbing situations in a basement, because basement's below grade. Correct. If the sewer line comes through the wall, right, above grade yes. or, you know, midway through the basement wall and you're you're you got the toilet on the floor. Mm -hmm. How do you get the toilet when you flush it to go up? Yeah, or if they have a septic system, yeah, we just put a sewage ejector, a pit that catches everything, pumps it up, and then into the system. So it looks so, like another sump pump? or pit? Somewhat, yeah. Pit? It's sealed, though, so okay. there's no no uh, fumes. Can you imagine if that exploded? <laughs> yeah, that's why it's vented. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the, the poop goes down and into an ejector? Just, just, yep, and then pumps it up and, <laughs> and, and, and out, yeah. Oh, wow. I know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> Do they make clear PVC? <laughs> oh, you just can get it, yes. There is a place in Texas that has clear pipes, so you can actually go in and see how lines, if they're plugged or what caused them, or improper venting will create a plug, and you can see it all. And I'm getting a little vomit in the mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to change. You're going to we're going to change gears for a second. So. Is there anything that you need in a basement for plumbing wise that you would use you wouldn't normally use on the first floor or second floor of a house? Besides an ejector pump, was it the toilets are the same? Yeah, the everything's the same. same yeah. Water pressure's yeah. the same, no yep. problems. Yep, everything. Yeah, yeah. There's no uh, anything upstairs we can put downstairs. We steam rooms, uh, you name it, whatever you want, we can put down there. Well that's cool. So let's get to the nitty gritty of the how the basement's built. One of the things a lot of homeowners are always worried about is you know, you go in a basement, it smells misty, musty, mildewy, you got that schmutz. Schmutz. <laughs> right? Yeah. And then, you know, there's mold, there could be water damage. One of the things I like about uh, Finished Basement Plus, and this is where you guys are, you're really thorough. You're mm -hmm. not coming into a basement saying, oh, we're going to do all this for you without inspecting it first. Right. So that's the first thing you do. Yeah, when we come out, first thing we want to determine is, are we dealing with a wet basement? Um, because we won't finish a basement that's leaking. So we're looking for cracks. Mm -hmm. We're testing for humidity level. Um, we need to know what we're, what we're working with going in, and then we'll make certain recommendations based on that inspection. Which is important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's good. So I have kids, homeowners have kids, respiratory issues, they're worried about mold, they're worried about air quality. You also address that. Yeah. So Tell me it, about that. There's a couple of different ways. Number one, uh, the building materials that we use uh, will not support mold growth because there's no organics in it. Um, and that's from the insulation to the wall framing to the wall surface to the moldings. There's no wood, you know. In for, anything you do. For mold to grow. Well, there's cabinetry Obviously. and some odds and ends, but the wall structure itself does not have any. So if know. someone had a flood or a little bit of water, it's easier to clean, it's easier to do. You have yeah. to do a lot of big tear-out. The out. vast majority of that wall is going to be in great shape and not have to have any work done to it as long as it gets dried out properly. Um, that's, a po that's cool. Now, here's something that I like that you do that I don't know a lot of basement finishing companies do, is that your designers or your consultants, the people who design everything, they're really good at color coordinating and mm -hmm. designing the layout and the space. A lot of homeowners just say, okay, I'm going to do the couch here. I'm going to do this. And the contractors are, I put a wall here. And we're going to, you know, box out the stanchion. Right. You guys actually incorporate like some themes, oh, color yeah. coordination. That's added value. Yeah, we have um, four ladies in our office that uh, work one on one with the customer once they sign a contract and they're completing the design, you know, but they're also working on the color schemes. Um, you know the paint colors and making sure that it works with the floor and the countertops and whatever whatever else is going in there but they're that's their job is to work one-on-one -on -one with the customer get things bundled up and then pass it off to the guys in production flooring i see the new snap click luxury vinyl tile water resistant stuff like that you, st you doing a lot of that a lot of vinyl plank uh vinyl tile as well there's some great vinyl tile on the market that looks like, looks like ceramic tile uh, or, or ceramic yeah, yeah that's amazing so let me ask you ron when they're putting the vinyl tile on the floor and you got a floor drain and you know how the basements are never flat the mm -hmm. uh, floors and there's a little bit of a pitch to the drain how do we incorporate the the luxury vinyl tile the vinyl tiles do you have like a special drain cover that goes over it how do they finish that no they just they actually when i think your guy when he finishes the floor skims it and builds it up a little bit so yeah. it's not as an aggressive 
pitch to the water, drain. Does water go into the drain? Yeah, yeah. it comes yeah. through. Yeah, it'll pitch it's, to the drain. Uh, I was just wondering how that works because, you know, a lot of times you get basement floors are never level. Right. Never flat. No, right? they're right. right. How about carpeting? Still people doing carpeting? Yeah, people are doing some carpeting. Um, carpeting is kind of a disposable item. You know, it's, sure. it's so cheap these days that if you did have a water vent, for the most part, it's not going to wreck your your basement. Sure. Just get the carpet out and throw in the dumpster. Makes sense. Now, what's the deal, the latest interpretation on egress windows? You got to have it if there's a, you got to have an egress if there's a bedroom, right? Yeah. The code was changed in 2015. Um, if you have a bedroom, you have to have an egress window in the bedroom. Um, but just to finish off your basement does not require you. If you just have an open living room, it can, you know, you okay. don't have to do the egress window. You got an open house coming up. We do um, on August 31st. Finishbasementsplus.com is where people can go. See how fast things go? It did. It went Crazy. fast. It's I great. love it. Thanks for coming in, guys. You Thank you. Ryan Alexander, it. Shelby Mechanical, Steve Iverson, and Amy Iverson. <laughs> Finish Basements Plus. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. My name's Adam Helfman. This is Higher Done. We'll see you next week.